how to like prepare yourself for a fight or do you have, have any motivation or um it's a good question um it's just just because i love the sport so much like i, I love training do you know what i mean and because i've done it for so long now it's just second nature to me and and yeah so it's not really like i have to motivate myself i've always been motivated that's good so if you don't if you didn't if you wasn't a boxer what would you what do you want to do Oh, that's a hard one. Because you've always got to have a backup plan. Yeah. I'll be a um, runner. A runner? You yeah. could runner? Yeah. I'm a good runner as well. I, I don't know. I always run cross country in school. Loved it. At what At what age would you think you'll retire? Um, my coach always said to me, he doesn't want me to go past 33, 34. So I just, I just think when you work it out, so like. Imagine from when I was seven to when I was 33, how many times I've probably been punched in the head. It's probably a lot of times, isn't it? And I think you don't want to be getting punched in the head as, as much as you'd like. Uh, do you make good money being a boxer? Um, yeah, yeah, you do, to be fair. Obviously, the higher up you get, is obviously the money gets better. But at this stage in my career, yeah, I'm uh, quite good money. Um, h- hello and welcome to our podcast. And here we are with us, Cam, the Tank Thompson. Thompson's Thompson said Thompson. <laughs> Just Thompson. Thompson. In your whole career, who was the best opponent you faced? So when I when I was amateur and I was on a uh, Team GB, I boxed a lad from Belarus. I, do you know what his name is that long? I couldn't pronounce it, but he was um, a former Olympian. So he was probably me me, me toughest fight to date. You've competed in three nations, haven't you? Yeah, three nations. And you've won two gold medals, haven't you? Yeah. What was it like when you won your first one? Um, yeah, so I was only 14 at the time, so obviously it was that was probably a, a massive thing for me. How long have you been boxing for? Uh, so since I was seven years old now, so I mean, if he's good at maths, I'm 25 now. 18 years. Nice. Yeah, go on then. Uh, so who's, who's your favourite fighter? If, if you like your boxing, who's your favourite boxer? Um, so man's Vasil Lomachenko, do you know who he is? No, I don't no. know The Rock. The Rock? Yeah. Who's The Rock? <laughs> he's, a, he's a wrestler. He's a wrestler, he's not a boxer. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock. Anyone else, any of you like boxing? Yeah, I like boxing. Do you know who's your favourite fighter? Wilder. Wilder? Deontay Wilder, really, yeah? What about you? Mm, not really into boxing. No, you're one of a footy guy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. When you tried to compete in the um, 2019 Tokyo Olympics, was it hard? Yeah, so um, so unfortunately for me, so basically how it works, obviously you have obviously all, all the male weights, and I was I was stuck in between a weight, and they got rid of my weight, so I, I was lightweight, 60 kilo, and they took it out of the Olympics. So basically I either had the option of moving up or moving down, and I couldn't make the weight below, but I was sort of too small for the weight above. So I was sort of like stuck in no man's land and um, obviously then I weren't, weren't able to compete so that's why I went, went in a uh, turn professional. Was it sad for you when you couldn't comp- compete? Yeah, because obviously uh, when, you're a, when you're a fighter, you know, you, it's your uh, childhood dream to go to the Olympics and it was sort of taken away from me. When was your first boxing match? When I was 11. How old are you now? 11. So same age as you. <laughs> mm. How many fights do you reckon? You've won out of all the fights you've done since um, you were a kid. So I can tell you now. So I, as an amateur, I had ninety six fights, and I lost twenty one. And then now I've had eight professional fights, and I've won them all. So, yeah. What inspired you to be, become a boxer? Um, do you know what? It's hard really, because obviously when I started, I was only seven, and. Um, I don't know, if you speak to a lot of fighters, they probably say, oh, me, my dad was a boxer, my uncle was a boxer, whatever. For me, that weren't the case. Um, my mum actually took me down to the gym, so I used to live, do you know where Tower Hill Boxing Gym is now? Yeah. I, so I, I, used, there, yeah. I used to live, obviously you say you live off Headbolt, I used to live there, and so it was all like two minutes away from the gym, and my mum took me down when I was seven. <coughs> that was it, I just, I just stuck at it. Did you always want to be a boxer? No, so I, I loved fo- football, I always played football. I used to play football teams when I was younger, and then... It was just sort of like all my time and commitment was, was in boxing, so I just you know, I fell in love with the sport and that was like my new my new pathway. If you could be any boxer, what what would you be? If I could be any boxer. Um so my favourite fighters 
Uh, obviously, some of you might not know him. He's a Ukrainian fella. His name is Vasil Lomachenko. And I think if I was inspired to be like anyone, it would be like him. What was you like in school? Did you get into any fights or anything? Or? Yeah, so... Um, so in school, so I, so my weird one, my my uncle, he's he's actually younger than me, which is a weird turn up. But anyway, um, <laughs> um, he was sort of like had a big mouth and used to um, anyone who would argue with it, say, oh, I call him a bat here, and that was how I ended up always fighting in school, always protecting <laughs> my uncle. Like in high school, did you? Um, ever nearly get like kicked out of the school or anything? No, I never got kicked out. No, I, um, I, 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 I would when I would say I was a bit naughty. I went like really bad. It was just just little things really. But um, as as I as I got older, started to really like school. And no, if I could go back now, I definitely would. What are you all like in school? Are you all good in school? Yeah, good. Yeah, you you yeah. you strike me. You're naughty. You're definitely naughty. <laughs> are you all in primary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going into big school or not? Yeah, yeah. What school are you going to? KBI. That's where I went to as well. Ravo KBI, exact yeah. same as me. Oh, you? In, yeah, yeah. You're, you're in Ravo? You're, you're in school on Wednesday, did you say? Yeah. How did you face to get into a match? Um, it's just like anything, really. So it's just like, say, for example, you've been in football and you've done your football training, like everything just leads up into your game, and it's the same with me when it comes to boxing. Was you scared when you were first going into your match? Um, I wouldn't say scared. Obviously, you get nerves. It's it's yeah. nerve wracking, especially yeah. when you're a young lad and you're fighting and sort. Not not in front of a lot of people, but there's quite a few people watching yeah. you. So it's sort of like you feel like you've got a bit of pressure on your shoulders. But mm. I suppose just after doing it so many times, you just get used to it. And it's just like everything else. <coughs> Have you ever like been scared before a fight? No. Like you're scared of the person you're fighting. Um. Well, yeah, because I remember like like I said, the my hardest the person I fought. So when I was, we had a, a training camp and I sparred him one time and he absolutely battered me. I mean, honest to God, I was thinking to myself, um, if, 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 like, if he does this down front to everyone in his backyard, like, but, fit, like, funny enough, I actually performed very well and you no, know, we should have won the fight and never, unfortunately. How do you, like, prepare yourself for a fight or do you have, have any motivation or...? Um, it's a good question. Um, it's just just because I love the sport so much. Like, I, I love training. Do you know what I mean? And because I've done it for so long now, it's just second nature to me. And and yeah, so it's not really like I have to motivate myself. I've always been motivated. Does Does it feel like boxing's inside you, like a part of your life? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just because it like I say, it's just second nature to me now, and it's sort of just been been in my life for so long. So that's all I do. How old was the oldest person you've had a um, fight with? Um, I th- I'm not a hundred percent. Def, I've definitely four people who've been in the thirties before, so maybe like thirty three or something like that. But I'm not a hundred percent. If you could put, pick any fighters to fight, um, for your life, like that you could be, but who would it be? So if I if I wanted to be any fighter. No. Um, or if it wants to fight any fighter. If you have a fight and um, it's like f- for your life, um, who would you pick like to be? To fight for uh, you. Oh, to fight for me. Yeah. Um, oof. I mean, he doesn't fight anymore, but probably Mike Tyson. Yeah. He was a knockout merchant, weren't he? <laughs> you don't want him back in your own, wouldn't you? That someone um, whatever messed with his pigeon. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you know about that? Yeah. Pigeon, yeah. When you wake up in the morning, what do you start with? So. Well, it just depends. Obviously, every day is different. So on a mo- so I train in Manchester. That's where that's where my gym is based. So mm-hmm. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm down there in the morning, and then of an afternoon, um, <coughs> on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do me running, either outside or in the David Lloyd's, and then a Tuesday and Thursday, I train with me mates in um, you know where the where the Lloyd's bank is, just by there in the gym there. So I just do all my weight training and that there. And then on a Saturday, I just I just do my own thing then. And then Sunday, I don't do anything at all. I just rest. Mm. Have a day, full day's rest. Because yeah. it's needed. Do you know when you were in school? Was yeah. it like, was it good? Like, was you good at like, any like, was it hard for you like any certain topics? Or like, was you fine with everything? Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say I was the most intelligent kid. Um, But I worked, uh, what, was, what was I not good at? Mm. Probably, uh, so I don't, I don't woodwork in school and I was terrible at that. Um, I, I, I didn't pass English, so 
I wasn't I wasn't very good at English either. But that's about it. Apart from that, I was quite good at everything else. Got a few GCSEs. Um, three GCSEs. Yes. Um, GCSEs. Um, what? Um, what? What lesson did you pick? <laughs> um, woodwork, PE, cookery, and art. Because you get to pick four. I, I don't know if it's still the same now, but at the time when I was in school, that's what you done. You pick four. Yeah, what are your five mm. five subjects? Uh probably like um P and P and Everyone and loves P, don't they? In high, in high school, because you get like I don't know how much you pick. Probably pick like um um of um. What about you? What did you pick? Um, so if I could pick like three, I'd probably go for like drama, art, and I like history as well. Really, yeah. You like history, do you? Yeah? It's good. Have you got any like um questions to the youngers, like younger boxers? Have I got any questions for them? Yeah, like to build up the career. Um, it's a good one. A question for them to build up the career. I think you just re- realistically you just gotta stay committed and understand that. So like even when I was in school, so I used to sometimes if I was trained up to a tournament, sometimes I'd get up at like say like half six in the morning and I'd go on a run before I went to school. Do you know what I mean? Obviously you have to be in school yeah. for nine. And I just think you just gotta be able to understand that you've got to make sacrifices sometimes. So it's like sometimes when it was my birthday and I was training, you know, I weren't able to like go go out for a meal or mm-hmm. have some birthday cake and you know so you gotta you gotta understand that you'll have to make sacrifices and yeah. you've got to work hard really. Yeah. But that, that that just goes to anything you do, whether it be a sport, whether it be a job. No, it's just that they're just what you need to do anyway. Who do you think like the worst boxer you've ever faced? The worst boxer I've ever faced. So once once you turn pro, right? You, so you fight people on the calls, journeyman. So basically, in a nutshell, what that means is, like, then they know they're gonna lose, sort of thing. If that makes sense. So they're basically getting in the ring to lose. Basically, they're not good. So probably like my third opponent, he was, he was, he was rubbish. I ended up knocking him out. He was rubbish. Did boxing ever like, interfere with school? Like, did it? Ever... Um, I would say it interfered, but obviously, I mean, it was a, it, it wasn't nice to have to get up at, you know, half six in the morning sometimes and going to run before school. I mean, that was that was something I didn't really enjoy, but yeah. it's just part of it, really. It was the moment in your life where you would wanted to um. Relive and change your decisions. Um, oof, that is a very, very difficult question. Um, so I probably, no, I, I loved at the time when, when it did win the Three Nations gold medal. I was in school and I remember coming back and uh, the school made like a big thing of it. So they made like done a big ex- assembly just for me and you know, obviously as as like a fourteen year old lads having all, all all the school clap for you and that that was a good moment. But it, um if I wanted to change anything, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to come back to that question. That's a, yeah, it's a difficult question. Who do you think's the best boxer right now? Um Um if I had to say I'd probably say Tyson Fury. Mm-hmm. Probably one of the best fighters at the moment. <laughs> if there was any other sport that you could do besides boxing, what would it be? Probably football because I wouldn't mind getting paid all that money to kick a ball around. It's a lot. It's a much easier sport. Yeah, yeah. So if I was gonna say if you're gonna do one sport, pick football. If you can be good at it, you can earn a lot of money. What was the smallest opponent opponent you fought? That, that's, well, because I'm quite small for my weight, I've always fought people huge. So um, I don't know. Probably just someone the same size as me, because because I'm always used to fighting people that taller than me, because I'm only. Small for my weight. Yeah, what do you want to be when you're older? I'd be like a doctor or a footballer. A doctor or a footballer? Yeah. They're two very different things, aren't they? Yeah. You know, in order to be a doctor, you've got to go to university for about five <coughs> or six years. It's tough, but it'd be good to be a doctor. What about you? I'd like to be an actor. An actor, yeah. You like dra- You said you like drama, don't you? Boxer. Boxer? Yeah. I'd Did you, you do boxing now? Yeah, I still do it in the ABC Boxing Club. What oh, one? Tower Hill? Yeah, the one there. Tower Hill. Yeah. Good. When my brothers get in fights, I always back them up. When they're in fights with other people, I've backed my brother up seven times. Really, yeah? Good yeah. man.
Got to protect your family. How many brothers have you got? Just one. Four. Four, yeah. When you like about boxing or training, <coughs> um, what do you do for a hobby? What do I do for a hobby? So, like recently, I've just started playing snooker, and I'm absolutely obsessed <laughs> with it. Like I'm literally, if I'm not in the gym, I'm in a snooker hall. Like that's how much I love it. Honestly, God, I love it. What you? What you do? If you're not in school and stuff. What's your uh, hobbies? Um, play with PS5. Yeah. Do you know what? I I don't ever play games. I don't even own a PS. I used to when I was younger, but now I hate it. I don't know. I used to do it, sitting all day. When I was a kid, I used to love going out and yeah, being outside. Yeah. Not sitting in on your PS. I'm not old, I'm not old. Do you play the PS as well? I play Xbox, but I don't really go on it that much. I'm always out with my mates. I used to be obsessed, but now um, I used to play like five or six hours, but now I like two hours. A lot, a lot of kids these days now, they, they, they love the games, don't they love the <laughs> Xbox and the PS? If you were a boxer, would you become a uh, different sports? Um, if I could choose one, it'd probably be football, but... That was the only other sport that I actually like done. Would you get a job if you was didn't have a boxing career? Yeah. So, um, when I left school, I went to college, and I done, done electrical engineering, mm. and then I also went to a railway college, and then I, I've had jobs before, like when obviously in COVID I had to get a job. So I, I don't, I don't really know what I'd do. I'd probably, I mean that they, they're the only things that I possibly could do that I've had qualifications for. Mm. Maybe something to do with electrical. Hmm. I, uh, I have a cousin and she's coming to work at my school as a mentor and uh, I think she's going to be a mentor for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, she was going she was going to be like an electrician person and she thought, right, um, I should go and work in a school to help kids. She came to, she, she didn't know I was in Ravenscroft <coughs> and she came to work in my school. That's good. So if that, if you didn't if you wasn't a boxer, what would you what do you want to do? Oh, it's a hard one. Because you've always got to have a backup plan. Yeah. I'll be a um, runner. A runner? You yeah. good runner? Yeah. I'm a good runner as so well. I I done that. I always run cross country in school. Loved it. Me, I, I'm I'm normally a goalie, but I can play out striking and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, like, do you have, like, cheat days or anything? Like, oh, yeah. all the time. Do you have cheat meals? Yeah, so, like, obviously, um, <laughs> like, you obviously you meant it, as a professional athlete, you meant it, obviously, good. Probably, say, like, 80% of the time. I probably do about 40% of the time. I'm, I love my food, like, <laughs> bad. I'm bad for, I'm bad for, uh, for cheap food, like, love my chocolate. My sweets. Yeah, so chicken mayo from Mackey. Oh, yeah. do you know what? I love chicken mayo. So, so come with yours. I like um, pasta and lasagna. Italian, yeah. Mm. Come with you. I like pizza. Pizza? <laughs> oh, yeah, so so that, I like... Just pizza. So I like favourite meals, probably big, big fillet steak, just mm. chips, peppercorn sauce. Can't oh, beat that. Like cheesy fries too. Cheesy, cheesy fries? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm ready fries. All this talk. Oh, food's fries. making me hungry now. <laughs> when was your last fight? November 27th, yeah, last year. Did you win it? I did, yeah, I did win. On points. When's your next fight? Somewhere? So I'm hoping it to be next month, maybe March 16th or... Or April. I haven't got an actual date yet, but that's what I'm. That's what I'm planning to fight for. So if you're boxing now, when 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 are you gonna fight? Are you gonna like compete? <coughs> How long have you been doing it for? Three, four years. Is Carl Carl still there? Carl the coach. I think so. Yeah. Is Mike small like Kelly glasses? I think so. Yeah. Do you know what we said that you've um, won the gold medal twice what was it like winning it the second time yeah um it was it was good it, probably not as good as the first time but it, it was different because it was my first time for for the great britain team so that had like obviously other big things for me but yeah it was not as good as the first time when was your when was your last match when you got beat well i haven't been beat as a professional yet so um so my last time was my, my last my last fight as an amateur over in Poland against another lad who was in the Olympics. Mm. What are your future aspirations? Is it to become a world champion? Yeah, definitely. I, I think anyone, any fighter you speak to who does boxing, you know, they'll always want to be a world champion. But 
obviously fair down the line as well. I'd like to be like maybe a multi weight world champion, you know, do it not just in one weight and maybe one or two weights. How much do you reckon you can lift? Lift? Yeah. So, what do you mean, like bench? bench. Yeah, bench. Do you know what? Not that much. Probably. I think the most I've done is 80 kilo. Which is good for me. How much would you have squat? So the most I've squatted was 120, 125 I think I've done when I was up where I should be, yeah. Mm. What can you lift? Big arms? I don't know. I've okay. never tried it. No, you shouldn't lift weights yet, because you're, you're only young. Mm. Let your body develop first. Yeah. Have you ever had any like that? Have you ever been like, knocked out or anything like, in a face? No, touch words. Touch words, but I haven't. <laughs> yeah, you should touch with as well, you don't want to get knocked out. Have you like... Uh, um, fought with famous boxers or trained with them. Yeah, so obviously, as you mentioned before, I trained with Nat- I trained with Natasha Jonas. Um, Scott that? Scott Quig. Don't know Natasha Jonas. No. World champion. Who's he from? She, the girl, Natasha. Oh, is she she's from. She, I think she's from Waverley. But, but we train in the same. We train in the same gym together in um in Manchester. I've trained with Andy Carolla, Scott Quig. Tony Bell, you was my manager. Yeah, he was my manager when I first turned pro. Anthony Joshua, I've trained with Joshua. Quite a few people. If you could go to any country, what would it be? So, last year I went to Dubai and I loved it over there. I'd probably, probably say Dubai, it's nice and warm all year round. <laughs> What's the nicest place you've been to, country abroad? Have you ever been? Tunisia. Tunisia, yeah, I've Black been there. Hill. Black Hill. Yeah. How about you? Don't go to the holidays that first, but I've went to Lebanon. Lebanon? Yeah, like there. I've heard of it, but I don't know exactly where it is. It's um, next to Turkey. Oh, okay. Well, um, are we New York? Yeah, New York. Sounds nah, right. I'd probably go to like put Portugal because the waves and that in the beaches. The waves and the beaches. Oh, do you know what? I'm scared of the sea, mate. I wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't catch me on them. <laughs> I'd like to go to Mal- the Maldives. The Maldives. Yeah, it looks lovely there, doesn't it? You know what? There's not a lot to do there. It's meant to be pretty boring. Just chilled out, please. When, where was your best um, fighter? Where was my best fight? Um, <coughs> so I boxed in Russia in the under-22 European Championships and I boxed a Russian and that was probably my me, me best fight there. Like. Have you ever missed any like famous boxers like Chan? Ah. Used to train by Andy Joshua. Um, obviously Natasha is is obviously a world champion. Um, what else have I met? Oh, I've met so many. You obviously Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know Tony Bellew. Well. Very very nice one. When you were growing up, who was the person that like helped you when you were at your like bad times and that? Um, do you mean just as in boxing or just in general? Yeah, general. Yeah. My mum probably. My mum's always mm. been like the person that's been mm. there for me. What is your ring walk song? Uh, and why do you prefer? Um, so my ring walk song it's called "Don't Wanna Dance" by Boston Bun. I don't know if you've ever heard it. And so when I when I was looking for ring walk song, I just wanted a song that was like so I like like dance dance house music. So I wanted something that like had a good beat to it, and I just come across that and it just stuck in my head. So it's like when I listen to it, give me like, you know, when, when you get like your hair stand up and your arms, that, it just give me that feel and I thought, no, that's it. And I've stuck with it ever since. Uh, do you make good money being a boxer? Um, yeah, yeah, you do, to be fair. Obviously, the higher up you get, is obviously the money gets better. But at this stage in my career, yeah, I'm making quite good money. When do you think you'll become pro? Um, when I'm about 18, 19. 18, yeah, that's the, that's the age you're allowed to send professional 18. Oh, is it? Yeah. What's the difference between amateurs and pro? So, the main difference is obviously when you're professional, the rounds are longer. Not longer, but you do more rounds. So, for example, when you're when you're amateur, it's just three threes. When you're professional, you start four threes, then six threes, then eight threes, then ten, then twelve. Um, obviously, when I was an amateur, though, when I got on Team GB, obviously the that's like elite amateur. So, in terms of skill wise, there's probably not much difference. But but um obviously because because it's a professional and the rounds are a lot um yeah. more rounds it's um 
it's probably a different pace compared to Amateur. Amateur's a lot faster, pro is quite slow, slow down more. Yeah. How do you get ready for the fight? Mindset, diet or anything? Um, yes, obviously, when when you no, you always get like quite a bit of time before you before you fight. So, say for example, like eight, eight to ten weeks, and then um, obviously you know, obviously your diet's probably your main thing. Make them wait hard. I don't think if you spoke to any fighter, they would say make them wait for the worst part, and then you you'd like me saying and obviously put me regimes together, and I just follow it. It's just as easy as that, really. Well, it's not easy, but you know. At what at what age would you think you'll retire? Um, my coach always said to me, he "Doesn't want me to go past 33, 34. So, I just think when you work it out. So, like, imagine from when I was seven to when I was thirty three, how many times I've probably been punched in the head. It's probably a lot of times, isn't it? And I think you don't want to get punched in the head as as much as you'd like. If you'd have to fight like a professional fighter, like. A heavyweight champion. Who do you reckon it'd be? I mean, I hope I'd never have to fight any of them heavyweights. I hope they them to me. Um, I don't know. You, I mean, if you're going to fight anyone, you're going to fight the best, don't you? So probably Tyson Fury. If you had to pick. But he's, but he's six foot nine, so I probably need the step ladder to him. He's <laughs> huge. I'm only five, I'm only five foot six. How much um, time should I have to go to the gym? How much time? Do you mean just like, say, for example, went to the gym once, how much time do I spend in it? Yeah. Um, so when I go in the morning, I'm in there for probably about two, two, two hours, two and a half hours, like that. So you're basically, so on a weekend, so basically it'll be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So you're basically... That's just that's just like some of sessions of, of, of <coughs> boxing sessions of a morning, probably going for about two so hours. So every, every morning from a Monday to a Sunday, you know from a Monday to a Friday, you're in there for twelve hours a morning. Every no, day. not not twelve. Const- yeah, no, yeah, every, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever had any any like big challenges like you've overcome and how you overcome them? Um, yeah, so it's like big challenge. But so when I when I've been selected for a massive tournament, obviously it's a lot of pressure. Like you know, you want to perform, you want to win. Uh, and uh, once you're on the so once I was on Team DB, there was like say three of us at the same weight. So it's like if you get picked, you're like oh well, I need to win now in, in order to keep keep ahead of the competition sort of sort of thing. So that was probably when I was an amateur, my biggest, my biggest um, one, my biggest one that you were saying. Thanks Thank you for the podcast. We really enjoyed talking to you. Thanks for having me, lads. Good speaking to you as well. Yeah.